Hi, I'm Tony Chan and back to you with this series on how to become a better judge of good people. You know, last time we explored why is it so important to put yourself in the presence of other good people. On one hand, it's obvious, right? We all want to be surrounded by positivity, by more light than darkness and bad, but we always want to remember that it really is about positive peer pressure that helps us become a better version of ourselves. And in the business world, at least, the best leaders, they aren't people just with goodness of skills, but they are the great leaders who have goodness of culture, goodness of compassion and goodness of values that really build an enduring culture. And that ultimately becomes the great competitive advantage in businesses. But goodness needs to surround us every single day if we want to just live life with a better outlook and greater positivity. And so the question I put forth today when you're trying to assess if someone really has that goodness is the following. Is the person more of an energy giver or an energy taker? We all know those emotional vampires out there. They come into the room and they somehow suck the oxygen immediately out of the room and, and everyone just gets deflated. And yet, hopefully, if you're lucky enough, you have some friends, you have some colleagues that just no matter what, when you're in their presence, you just feel a little bit more human. You feel a little bit more optimistic. You feel a little bit more inspired. One of my great mentors, Jay Chai, who died 70 years too young, used to tell me, you need to live every day with the optimism rule. So if you're trying to become more positive, if you're, if you're out there as an emotional vampire and trying to get on the more positive side of life, think about Jay's optimism rule. The next time you hear a new idea, can you wait 24 seconds before criticizing it? If you can do that, can you wait 24 minutes? And if you can get past 24 minutes, can you actually wait an entire day, 24 hours, to think about every reason why that idea might work before allowing yourself to think about the reasons why it might not? Optimism, positivity, what we need more in this world are good people. And one way to think about whether someone is good or not, ask yourself in that interview, on that date, in that assessment of, of uh, during a mentorship session, is this person fundamentally more of an energy giver or an energy taker? I'm Tony Chan. Follow me at Anthony Chan on Twitter, and I'll look forward to the next installment when we explore another question to help us become a better judge of good people.